Right, I'm just going to do a, a video uh, showing you how you can quickly convert the sales value of your team's figures into real pounds. Uh, you need to go to your back office, then go under Team, click Team Member Report. I'm just going to pause the video because it's going quite slow. Right, we're back again now. So that's downloaded the Team Members Report. What you need to do now is click Download CSV. And that will download to your computer somewhere. And I say, make sure you remember where you've put it. I'm just going to put it into downloads now. And then mine is downloaded. So I'm just going to open it up straight from the desktop there. So now that's opened up. Well, I'm just going to pause the video and get rid of all of everybody in our team get rid of their details just to keep it a bit more uh, private for data protection and then I'll come back to it right this is the same spreadsheet I've just uh, shrunk all these columns so that uh, you can't see people's private details and now when it looks like that this column here and this is my Excel version different Excel versions might look different and under mine it's under column P and this is all the sales value for people who've put orders in so far obviously if there's a, a number there then you can find out who it is by looking under column B and that'll be their name but what you need to do now is get that into a, a good order because if you've got a big team and there's lots of people who haven't put orders in then the best way to do it is just click on that top square there and then look for the A to Z, sort of sending. Um, I'd say different versions of Excel, it'll be in different places, so you need to find out where that is. Click on that, and that's put all of the ones who've put an order in so far this week into a sending order. Um, now, you've got to remember that that is sales value, and we really need to see it in pounds. So, what I'm going to do is in this column here, if you just click in the next column, then what I've got is a formula here. And I'll put this formula under the video on YouTube. So you just need to copy that formula, right click, click copy. And then once you've chosen that square there, just go into the formula bar and then just right click click paste that puts that formula in there so you don't need to do any typing once that's in there just click the enter key and then another tip here that I'll say it's nice and easy seeing that 10 um, but if you go to look for this here where it says increase decimal or decrease decimal and I'll say it'll be somewhere different on Excel depending on the version so if you increase that by two so that shows us ten pound uh, because the next step what we need to do is when that square is highlighted you see the cursor is a big plus there put it on that bottom right hand corner and it changes to a small crosshair once it's done that just left click and then drag down until you've got to the last one where there's a, an entry or you can do it all the way if you wanted to but just go where the number is there let go and then now that has converted all of those sales values into pounds so it makes it quick and easy where you can have a look down and you can see there's somebody there who's just hit the Viva MK star in the first week so you can contact them and give them a congratulations uh, there's somebody here who is uh, What's that? Um, £82 away from hitting the first bonus level of Viva MK500 star. So it's a quick way of converting them all. And then if you've got any team trackers, then you can use it to enter the figures on that. I've got other spreadsheets, but this is a quick way of doing it until the full final version is released by HQ. Uh, but this is a stepping stone to that. So if you want to use it then give it a go if you haven't got a team then go out and start building a team because it's fun when you are helping other people to make money it uh, that's what this business is about the more people you can help money the more 
help to make money, the more you make yourself. So I hope that's useful. If not, just delete it. And if you've got any questions, just get in touch with me. Just message me under this video. Or if you've seen it on Facebook, then message me. One thing I forgot to say is when you've downloaded it, then that formula that is showing square P2 and you've got to make sure that your sales value is actually in P. If it comes up and it's in a different column then you'll have to change that letter to the corresponding column. But like I say mine came out as P and ideally I think it should come for P for everybody. If not just change that letter to whatever column the sales value comes under. Okay that is the end now. Okay bye now.